No, come on, Julie. I, 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 I can. I can. <laughs> what if I put the camera on me instead so they can't see you? Uh, that's all right. <laughs> you don't want to repeat your Karl Marx quote and explain what it means to me? <laughs> Religion is the opiate of the masses. Okay, I'll say it one more time. If I can say it with a straight face, I'll try. Religion is the opiate of the people. My parents, your parents, they have religion. And that makes them feel nice. That's correct. It's the opiate of the people. But why doesn't this apply to you? I told you, there's a fine line between religion and a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. I have Jesus Christ. It's a personal relationship. People can call that quote-unquote religion, but there's a fine line between religion and a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And you don't consider yourself to be religious? Uh, people can call that, but it's more than religion. Religion is, is a system of do's and don'ts created by man to make them feel good about themselves, to comfort them. I couldn't but agree I have, more. I, I have Jesus Christ. There's a far difference between religion and a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. People can classify, quote-unquote, Christianity with a small c as religion, but I consider myself to be a Christian with a capital C because I believe in Jesus Christ. Now, my last question. You, you're obviously very f firm in your beliefs. You don't think that your opinion on this matter isn't biased just because you believe that you, that, that Jesus is the only way that all other relationships are, uh, what was the term, uh, false idols? Well, the thing is, they're not, they're worshipping the, their religion, not the truth. There's a fine line, again, between quote-unquote religion and the truth. The truth is there if you want it, but you have to find it. I can tell you I believe in Jesus Christ, but you're not going to believe me unless you discover it for yourself. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And Jesus also says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto thee. So if you seek the truth, with an earnest heart, you will find the truth. Yes, I just want to have record of it. If we're going to have a discussion, I'd like to have record of it. Um, uh, Alright, so your question was, what about me? And my response remains the same. I'm turn, still... Turn the camera. Turn the camera. Do you know? So the, they know it's, it's well, right. I'm, I'm the interviewer. You're the interviewer. I'm yeah. the question. You should be viewed on the camera. You should sit right here so the camera can see you. <laughs> no. <laughs> My question is, I'm still, it, it baffles me how you could say these things, the Karl Marx quote, that religion is the opiate for the masses, Religion just makes gives people a nice fuzzy feeling about eternity and makes them feel nice. Exactly. But that you are exempt from this, your case is different. I think that's just biased because everybody who is religious thinks that their religion is the correct one. You have to, you, right? I mean, Islam take it so far as they're willing to behead people over it. Obviously, well, they're very the steadfast and they they truly believe they're going to get those seven virgins in the end. But the thing is, if you search for the truth, you will find the truth. It's just not a cultural thing. The truth is eternal. The truth is indisputable. Those who set out and seek the truth will find the truth. Look at the atheists throughout history who have tried to dispute the Bible and have, lo and behold, have come to the conclusion, yes, the Bible is real, therefore Jesus Christ is real, therefore I must become a Christian. The man who wrote uh, the famous book that was turned into a great movie with Charleston Heston, what is the name of it? Cherry race in it. It was the. Um, you must know it. Anyways, the man who wrote the book actually set out to disprove the Bible and Jesus Christ and ended up in the process of becoming a Christian. What is the name of that movie? You don't know it? It was made in 1959. Famous Cherry Race. Okay, he became a Christian. Lee Strobel, who was a journalist, set out to disprove the Bible, ended up becoming a Christian. C.S. Lewis was a devout atheist. I guess he had some climactic event in his life that made him question God and the truth. 
to become a Christian. Pontius Pilate asks himself, what is truth? He didn't want to answer the people. He wanted to give in to the masses. He didn't want to answer that question. He just posed the question, what is truth? That's a question we all have to answer. What is truth? And if you seek the truth, you will find the truth. Pontius Pilate wasn't interested in the truth. He was interested in appeasing the masses. Plain and simple. So, religion is just another way of pleasing the masses. Control. Mass control. Religion is a means of, quote unquote, religion with a small r, is just a means of, it's, it's a control system. A system of beliefs to make people, to give order to their lives and to society as a whole. But the bottom line is, you need Jesus Christ as your personal savior. And I'll say it again. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. <clears throat> Do you want to discuss hell? God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Hell is real. If you read Luke 16, it gives a description of hell. It's a place of utter torment, darkness, and gnashing of teeth for all of eternity. God is not willing that you should perish. So please consider the fact that hell is real before you reject Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ loves for you, he died for you so that you would not have to perish in hell. Do Catholics go to hell? Catholic, there are many good Catholics, as there are many good religious people in the world. And it's not that if they're trusting their religion to save them, then yes, they're going to go to hell if they don't accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Maybe some of them do become accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior rather than embracing the Mother Church they come to a personal relationship in Jesus Christ, and yes, they can be saved like anyone else that comes to relationship, that comes to accept Jesus Christ as their personal savior. In Revelations, when um, they speak of the great whore that you must come out of, do you believe that they're referring to the Catholic Church? I, I'm inclined to believe that. If you look at the context of it, it very well could be the Catholic Church. Anything else you'd like to add? No more questions. Just remember, God is not one that any should perish, but that all should come to Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Repent and believe while there's still hope.